Howdy everyone, this is Robert from Windy Corner TV with my first Let's Play because my friend Jack kept begging me to do a Let's Play. So here you go, I hope you appreciate the effort. So we're going to choose Claire and we're going to go with the rocket launcher because that's the best way to exterminate pests. Now this game is Resident Evil Survivor 2. Um, now I don't think a lot of people are familiar with this game because it was the only Resident Evil game that wasn't released in America. Now, a lot of people have speculated the reason is because it was a light gun game, and at the time these games were considered controversial in America. A lot of people were pointing the finger at these type of games for being responsible for school shootings. So, a lot of light gun games in America were either gimped or just not released at all. Um, other games that weren't released there was, there was a Virtual Cop collection on the PS2, didn't come out in America. Um, Police 24-7, didn't come out in America either. Um, and in Resident Evil Survivor 1, they just removed the light gun from the American version. Now, this is a pretty fun little game. It's kind of like Doom, but in arcade form. Like, like Doom, you shoot left to right, you can't aim up and down. And it's very, very fast paced. It's a lot of fun, this game. And the Roach mode is sort of like a special unlockable mode you get for completing the game. And you just go around shooting cockroaches. It's just so much fun. And I really wish they could make an entire- they could make an entire game out of this. I would buy it. Um... And, as you can see, they go and, um, just to shoot them, roaches, yay! Um, I'd like to see a real pest exterminator kill roaches this way. I mean, I remember, I remember on Ritley's Believe It or Not, they had a guy who exterminated roaches by eating them. Well, try killing them with rocket launchers. And I don't think the homeowners would be very impressed with you destroying their house, and insurance companies would be pissed, and... The police would kind of rock up. I mean, the noise alone would attract people's attention. But now we're time for some Roach Revenge. I really do like the- I do- this game has a really good sense of humor, it's really fun. Um... There you go. And as you can see, I'm catching the- this is actual real footage from PS2 with component cables. Although I took it a little step further by forcing progressive scan to make the image a little bit more crisper and sharper. And then, then I fed it towards an upscaler because my Elgato HD60 doesn't have a component plug, so... I had to convert it from component to HDMI with this little upscaler, a very cheap Chinese upscaler, but it gets the job done. So, I hope the footage looks good. Now, in this next level, we're going to see something a little bit different. Now, we have roaches. Roaches on the side. Roaches on this side. And, ah, it's giant moths. Giant moths. Or, in Australia, we like to call them small. And, no, I'm not joking. There are giant moths in Australia. They're called Hercules moths. And if you live in the tropics like me, you will actually regularly see them. Very, very scary looking creatures. <laughs> anyway. There we go, another level, you know, cleared. Yay, S ranking. And on to the final level, you know, just, and, and sadly, this, this, this stage is only, this, this mini game's only about five minutes long. I really wish to make an entire game out of it. Now, Code Veronica is actually going to get re-released on the PS4, according to the German classification board they recently rated a PS4 version. I would like to see Capcom also remaster this game, well, lasers. I'd like to see Capcom remaster this game as well, but I doubt that'll happen. But it'd be really cool to see Code Veronica on newer systems, I really do like this game a lot. And oh, the lasers. Uh, those, you know, lasers and roaches, and they're the two best friends. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. It's very much thrown together, like I said. I pretty much record footage of every game I played. i actually been wanting to review this game for a while, for many years. This footage has just been sitting on my hard drive. I like do hundreds of games. I really wish I had more free time. Anyway, thanks for watching and this might be my next, this might be my last Let's Play, but who knows, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.